have a warm afternoon all of you why it's warm afternoon because there is no sun outside but little bit humid right feeling some of the suffocation right okay let's introduce my team this is my team guys this is gopi this is vamsi krishna this is shivamani this is hamant by team we promise you one thing that end of the session will gain something sure will make you laugh will make you gain something about the knowledge will promise you that okay my name is mohit vamsi krishna i'm here to explain about ml machine learning as you all know machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence right artificial intelligence is sort of mimicking the human beings right it is a sub this is a subset of artificial intelligence machine learning okay before rolling in the into the intro uh, i just want to ask you one thing uh, if any error in the computer we just call it as bug why uh, have you ever watched movie ega directed by rajmouli yes Yes. Uh, by watching that movie, we'll see a scene that uh, he is seriously involved in some things, but the fly disturbs him, right? Is you do like this, like this, right? Here also says the same thing repeated. When he is seriously programming, a bug comes and disturbs him. He want to kill the bug. At the end of the time, he has entered a wrong key, and the code was. completely culprited and it became an error so when I, when we did detect an error it was called as a bug right uh, let let us enter into the ml deeply first of all after artificial intelligence and machine learning we have deep learning let's learn deeply about machine learning we have three stages of machine learning it is supervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning and reinforcement machine learning okay let's discuss about supervised machine learning i just want to roll a small intro about this two is a human and this is a machine which is program uh, i just gave an algorithm to it to escape from the hits of human did you see that the machine is escaping from the human hits this what happened we are coming to supervised machine learning an algorithm is performed which which is uh, which knows the output final output but the machine doesn't know the final output until the final output is arrived it programs and it if it satisfies the condition then the machine is corrected then the machine begins to know okay this is the correct and this is the wrong uh if we give a plenty ducks and plenty pigs to the machine it doesn't know which is pig and which is duck but the algorithm knows because it is predefined for algorithm right the algorithm knows which is pig and which is duck then the machine if the machine detects the pig and says it as a duck then it is not the condition is not satisfied then the training is started and it continues after that all it finally says the duck and it points out the duck and it says that okay then it's correct then the algorithm satisfies and it goes through this is called supervised machine learning when the algorithm monitors the machine and let let it by learn then it's called supervised machine learning okay after that we are coming into unsupervised machine learning what is unsupervised machine learning as it is in the name it is no, it doesn't need any supervision right ah uh, it uh, anyone know what is the meaning of cluster anyone all of cluster cluster c l u s t e r anyone cluster is a group of similar things okay coming to unsupervised machine learning it also doesn't know the output but it doesn't have any supervision but it it categorizes and it into clusters because uh, okay some 
uh, assume these two as pigs for, uh, for temporary time, okay? These two as pigs and these two as ducks. I am here as unsupervised machine learning agent, right? I just, I just don't know which is a pig and which is a duck and there is no mentor for me. But I know one thing, to form as a cluster, right? I just, I segregate, uh, you two come this side, you two go there. Because these two are pigs, these two have similar characteristics, these two have similar characteristics. So I just make them aside and this aside. By dividing them, I just got something, these two are different things, right? By this, unsupervised machine learning form clusters. They doesn't know output, they doesn't have supervision, but they form clusters. This come, this all the, this all actions comes under unsupervised machine learning. Coming to reinforcement machine learning. Okay, let's invite Shomani, please. Have you ever played video games? All of you played, right? At our childhood, it will be more fun, right? Uh, if we, if we hit a duck or if we hit a pig, we'll get points, right? If we hit the correct shot, we'll get a point, right? The uh, game of the score increases, right? As the same happens in reinforcement machine learning. This is a machine learning agent. Yeah. This is the ampere which allows the points to the machine. Uh, when asked, I am the human, I just want to know which is the duck and which is the pig. I just want to ask this machine. Machine, which is the duck? Plus five. Yeah, it's allowing plus five points for the machine. If it's wrong, uh, if it said it is the duck, then what does the umpire do? Minus five. Yeah, it's giving in a negative points. Like that. If it gains the points, ah, okay, then it's knows. Okay, this is the correct answer. If it loses the points, then it's no, it's the wrong answer. By this, the machine learns. Machine learning, in the name we expect that machine is learning from us. By the raw data, by the new data, it analyzes, it predicts, and it starts learning. But this reinforcement machine learning is nothing but, machine is allowed some points if it, if it says the correct answer, and it, it detects some points if it says the wrong answer. This is what happens in reinforcement machine learning. This is all scenario about reinforcement machine learning. These are the three types of categorized machine learnings. Thank you for giving me this excellent opportunity. Thanking you for bearing with this time.